Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizons. So glad to see you here again. So, um, I am just about ready to go here. However, I realized I just updated to Horizon 1.6. I think I was on 1.4 previously. I think I skipped 1.5 or not 1.5. Um, yeah, right? No, 1.6. No, 1.7.6. God, I, for I forgot the version names. I was on 1.7.4, I believe, before and... I'm pretty sure I updated to 1.7.6. Yeah, right. So, uh, anyway, I was looking around a little bit before I started recording here just to make sure everything worked okay. And I noticed that... Um, what are you building? God, Preston, you're kind of loud right in my ear there. I noticed that I can now make 7.62 ammo. Require 60 ballistic skill. I don't know if it required 60 before. I didn't quite have it. Or if it was 70 before and I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm not sure which one. But um, let me check here. Look at my, um, this thing right here, right? So this thing can use, you know, all the, all the good stuff, right? Um, I want to see if I can make it use 7.62. Indeed we can. That requires 70 ballistic skill, and apparently I do have that. I think previously you had to have 70, but I, I have 70 now, so I don't, I don't know. I don't understand uh, what's changed here. I still have just um, two ranks of this, which gives... Right, this gives me 50 skill. The third rank is the one that gives you 75 skill, but we only have two ranks. Unless that's bugged, let me check something here real quick to make sure we didn't... There wasn't a bug on the install or something, or maybe just a bug. No, we just, we just have 70 skill, right. We've gotten two magazines so far, plus our regular whatever we have. So, right, um, we can make that now and we can actually craft that. Now, I also want to check to see, can I make um, the rifle conversion kit? Rank 2, yes, this is what we need, I believe. And maybe rank 3 as well. Right, now we should be able to convert that in the field. Let me, let me check here. Make sure we have that weapon equipped. It is, and we will use the personal, the weapon toolkit. And we can change it over to 7.62. Excellent. Excellent. So we can now use the really good ammo in that. So I'm going to make some 7.62 ammo and, and scrap the rest. Because, hey, why the hell not? That's better DPS, a lot more damage per shot. So at least I'm pretty sure. Let me take a look at that weapon again. Just, just to make sure I'm not seeing things incorrectly here. So, right, 43 damage per shot and five, or 456 uh, DPS. I can't make this any better, can I? No, I need 100 for that. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Could make a refined barrel. Reduced recoil. Better accuracy. You know, I'm not going to use this thing for too much longer, though. I don't think I'll be using uh, the AK-400, that my download, pretty soon here. I'm not going to worry about it too much. But yeah, anyway, uh, going from 5.56, 7.6, yeah, it's just better all around. The, the fire rate's a bit lower, but that's fine. It's better damage, it's better DPS. We're going to use that, I think. So, what I'm going to do um, is go ahead and scrap some stuff we don't need here. Let's go ahead and scrap some ballistic rounds we don't need. Like, this is fine. That's fine. All those. That can all go. And I already have, like, a 1500 smokeless powder. We're actually going to run out of powder. We're going to need um, a lot more lead and stuff. Is what we're going to need. But that's cool. So we'll scrap everything here. Scrap those. We'll keep 5.56. Going to dump the 5mm. The 9mm. And uh, railway spikes. Yeah, sure. They don't scrap into much, but sure, why not? Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff there. Let's exit out of there to make sure everything updates in our inventory here. We'll go back in and let's make a whole bunch of 7.62 rounds. Let me take a look here. 7.62 is 148. It does like 50, just like a 10 damage increase. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's always worth it. Now we might end up doing, well, we're going to run out of lead before we run out of anything else, I think. Yeah, lead's going to be the thing that stops us here. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and make a bunch of these. I guess I think we ran out of lead. No, we ran out of powder. Okay, never mind. I thought we'd run out of lead first. So, how many of those did we make there? Nice, 402. Okay, we'll use these up. The 5.56. We'll use those up. 
but uh, then we'll be switching over here pretty soon. Let's dump our scrap off in there. Make sure everything is out of here. We want out of here. Oh, right. These need to go over into the uh, workbench. Compost bin. Actually, I have nothing in here right now. Very good. I have no food, too, which is rough. But I did get myself full. So that's good. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say we're in good shape here, guys. All right. So we're good to go. Oh, right. Market trading terminal. Was, was there, um... I don't suppose you had, or someone had, magazines for sale? Anybody have magazines for sale? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Eddie has uh, literature, literature packages. Okay. We'll buy four of those. Okay, guys, well, you know, wish me luck. I really hope we get some good stuff here. Please be like ballistic and energy weapons. Okay, sneak is... F no, not that. I don't want to get in there. Get out of there. Get out of there, Nora. Don't do it. Get out of there. Takes a long to exit that thing. Um, Maybe this time? Well, okay. It's kind of nice too, I guess. Uh, melee, okay. Really would like that. Energy weapons or ballistic? No, more hacking. Okay. Okay, never mind. We're not going to get lucky today, apparently. Has our mail rolled over yet? I bet Preston sent us some stuff. Yeah, it must have rolled over because it had like an hour left. Right, we got a whole bunch of stuff from Preston, I think. What all you send me, Preston? Okay, we got a bandage. And we got a vendor contract. And we got a vendor contract. Okay. That's cool. Let's go to our container. Oh, we got a bunch of money, too. We can buy another, um... What's it called? Another magazine. Let's dump our mags in there. And buy one more magazine. That's not the right thing, Nora. What are you doing? And... Uh, where was that? Trevor, right? No, it wasn't Trevor. Crazy Eddie. I think Eddie is my favorite vendor, because he's crazy. Gives you good deals and stuff. He's a nice guy. <sighs> Another one I don't really need that much. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, whatever. The trees are not glitching out right now, but they're quite... They're quite animated, I guess. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's get going. Get the power armor out. Oh, do I have fusion cores on me? No. We can get them over here. It's fine. Fusion cores. Do I only have... Um, could have sworn I had more than that. I could have sworn I had... What's in this one? Yeah, that one's like almost full. I'm not sure why that one's in there as opposed to the 87 one. We're still not like in amazing shape though as far as cores go though. I could have sworn I had one more than that, but you know, whatever, it's fine. So... Let's go get some bad guys. Hell yeah, Preston. So today, I guess we're going to go to Sunshine Tidings real quick, set that up. I want to get those guys down here working on some food. I want them to be making corn. This is set up with a supply line, so we can fast travel down there. We'll use the caravan radio. I want to check to see how many supply kits I have on here, too, to make sure we're good as far as that goes. 28, that should be fine for now. Right, so we're going to... Oh, so you can fast travel to Starlight Drive-In even without a supply line. I was curious about that. Couldn't remember, so... First, I'm going to go to Sunshine Tidings. We're going to go there first. I'm going to get this set up with a um, couple of turrets. Um, I think we already have housing put down. We need turrets, and we need food, and some other things, too. So, we, yeah, we got this done, but we have a person on defense here, but I'd rather have you... I'd rather have you working on the farm... How about the power armor here as so we save our energy? Everyone always, all your companions always like um, this area for some reason. I'm gonna take my fusion core out. What well, you, you can lock it actually. Lock it. Yeah, it's locked. So now Preston can't get in there. No one can take my power armor. 
Right, so we want crops, sick food. And we're going to do this. And by the way, if you were watching last time, I was like one short of having enough for the corn. But I forgot to save after like that last crash. Okay. If you remember that in the last episode I crashed, I forgot to save after that crash, so I redid everything. And I got, uh, can I get you to go over here? I got enough fertilizer into the uh, thing that I got, like, got two it. extra corn. So yeah, I have enough now to actually have two full corn patches. That'll give us uh, 24 rating by itself, plus the additional nine we have, so... Really? Something's out there. Yeah, no shit. Maybe a bad time. Maybe a bad time to take my defense away. Here, get up there. Okay, let's do some defenses. Keep your heads down. Agreed, keep your heads down. Save us. I don't know how that was not hitting them, but whatever, it's fine. It's okay. Gonna not complain today. Okay, cool. So we got them working on the farm. We got defenses. We don't have to worry about water and stuff because we got plenty. They've got beds and stuff, right? Yeah, they're, they're all good here. So what, what else do we need? Oh, right, we need um, utility stuff. So we need to set up one of these. That's fine. And we've already got one of these. We don't need one of those yet. Uh, we already got a, a generator as well. What we need is a resource station. Uh. Oh, right, I have to unpack it. That's right. Duh. I knew that. Where did I put... Oh, it's over here still, I think. Right, it's over here. So we're going to unpack our... Got that already. We need to unpack uh, just this, I think. And then we can make our resource station here. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah, this is all we need. I'm just going to do this. And we're going to put this, uh, the cargo bot supply line, over to um, Starlight. Right. Check on our map here. That should be displayed. Yeah, okay, cool. We're all connected up. So let's go over to Starlight as well and drop some defenses and stuff there. How much do we have now? Oh, really? Man, I could have sworn. Do I have a recruitment radio? Please tell me I do. I might not have a recruitment radio. Son of a bitch. Well, guys, I guess we're walking. Unless I leave Preston here. Man. I guess we're walking, guys. I... Crap, that's my fault. Well, it's fine. We'll do some exploring on the way over, I guess. Did I clear, like, down below here? What all have I cleared over here? I, we went up to the north. But I don't think we've gone, like, to the south here and cleared down through here. There's some interesting stuff over here. I don't know if I actually got it or not. Maybe some Meyer Lurks and eggs. Looks like I didn't get it because the eggs are still uncracked, it looks like. That's fine, we can do this. We have explosives. Might make those Meyer Lurks a bit easier, yeah. Got it. you know, we got we got mines too. Maybe I'll uh, toss a mine out here. You guys, you don't come out. I'm afraid I'm gonna end up... Hmm, I wonder where they are. It should be out by now. now I hope these these guys don't blow my minds. Where are they? 
Get Preston. This is horseshit. The range on this thing is horseshit. Sorry, but it is. Well, that's good. We got some more exotic scraps because we need scraps real bad. You know, I was just thinking, did I ever get the magazine up here? The one that gives you extra meat from animals? Because I don't think I did. I, if, if I scrapped everything with a scrap all, it would have went into the workbench, and I probably forgot to get it. Should maybe go and do that real quick. Forgot some hub flowers over here, too. So I don't know if you guys heard, but there was a big update for Fallout 76. And I know you guys are probably just thrilled to have me talking about that game again. It's everyone's favorite Bethesda game, right? But yeah, there was a big update for it and uh, they removed all the dupes in the game, at least all the ones that really matter, like, you know, the um, Nuka-Colas and mainly the overpowered legendary weapons that were duped like crazy. Those all got removed. So um, yeah, that's wonderful. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, so yeah, right, let's... Oh, you scared the crap out of me, Preston. Check to see if that magazine's in the workshop here. But when I scrapped it, maybe it went into there. We got a pack of cigarettes. Uh, no, it's not here. Because I don't see it here anyway. Being mags. I guess I did get it then. Okay. I don't know if I did or not, so I wanted to check. All right, that's fine. We don't have a, a settler here yet, do we? No. Okay, we just have to... You just have to walk. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. There's stuff on the way we can get. But yeah, I did a big patch where they got rid of all the dupes and stuff. I hope that discourages dupers because there still are exploits that people can use, apparently. At least the source that I know of said there were. So it's still possible to dupe. But my hope is they keep doing this and they just discourage people from doing it until they get the dupes fixed. Unfortunately, it means that... Um, because there are still dupes in the game, I think uh, I think people are going to be a lot less likely to do any trading. Which, you know, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I haven't really done much trading myself. I've sold some stuff for caps, but that's been about it. Um, I think I paid for a couple plans, but that was about all. But, you know, it does kind of suck because in that kind of game, that's sort of the end game, you know? You're, you're farming and you're looking for better gear. That's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, yeah, there's cool story and stuff you can explore, but at the end of the game, you're basically just farming a Scorch Beast Queen and legendary enemies. That's pretty much it. And the only thing that really matters is uh, trying to get better gear. Looks like I have... I think I had to uninstall the floating damage text, which is unfortunate. I like that mod, but it does bug out sometimes. and You get these really big blue boxes for some reason. It's really annoying. See, so yeah, I had to get rid of that. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to playing it again. Maybe I'll even stream it a little bit, although I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just record it a bit, and um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, that might just be like that's a it's a very severe texture right there. That triangle, very immersive. Um, but I, I'm that might just be like my game I play by myself, off-stream. A synth, really. We've got this. Keep your cool. I'm glad you're confident, Preston. <laughs> that must be one of those random spawns that you get after a while. No more, though, huh? Oh, there's another one. Yep, there's more. He is behind there. Yeah, we want to sneak up on him if we can. Movement detected. Well, there, Something's out there. there goes that. We've got company. They are weak on their limbs, by the way. That's why I'm aiming for the legs. Did he just... Okay, it's a cryo. Okay. 
Okay, I think that was the last of them then. That's cool though. Starting to see since. Means we're doing good. Intact synth heads. I think you need this stuff to make synth settlers, which is a really cool addition, by the way. Right, and there's a dead scaver group over here. They were infiltrating or whatever. Cool little encounter, though. That might be a vanilla encounter, even. I'm not sure. Might not be a horizon thing. But it's cool either way. Since our... As someone else pointed out on uh, the Horizon subreddit, since our loot pinatas, literally, so always happy to see them. Although they can be a real bitch to take down if they have the uh, like explosive gamma guns or whatever they are. It's ridiculous trying to kill them. We going the right way? Yeah, we're kind of you know we're kind of not like going towards Starlight though. And I do kind of want to go up there and get that set up before I go any further south. But yeah, guys, I think maybe I'll just play 70s. Unless people really want me to, like, stream it or something. Thing is, you know, I can't do super, super high-quality streaming. Uh, I was talking with a friend as part of my kind of YouTube support group. I mean, it's not like an official YouTube support group or anything. It's, you know, it's just like a Discord group that I'm a part of that I chat with other creators. Okay, that's the mine. At least it was slow. But yeah, it's just a, uh, a group of other... YouTube creators that I kind of chat with and run my thumbnails by. I've already been over here, haven't we? Oh, this is, uh... The guy... Wait, what, what are you here for? Excuse me. Oh, boy. Oh, this guy. You want to keep your distance. Okay, you got diarrhea. I got it. Say no more, man. But yeah, anyway, I was talking with, um... A guy from my YouTube's work group uh, by the name of Charlie Pryor. And really cool guy, by the way. Um, he's a little bit bigger than I am as far as subs and stuff. There's a lot of stuff on Twitch as well. Um, definitely someone who probably will go full-time someday as far as streaming goes. Someone to kind of watch as they eventually get to full-time. I've only seen one person from my group of uh, YouTube creators go full-time so far, but that was cool to see, although it was a Fortnite streamer, so... Um, you know... I, I would not want that fate. I'd rather be an exclusive Fallout streamer than be an exclusive Fortnite streamer, to be honest. But hey, personal taste, you know? A lot of people like Fortnite, so I can't really blame him. But um, that creator is L Latana, by the way, of the Latana Army YouTube channel. But he's a really nice guy, too. He has amazing thumbnail skills, like making thumbnails in Photoshop. He is... Fantastic at that. Really, really good artistically. And a very, very nice guy. He helped me out a lot with my channel, giving me some really good advice. But yeah, anyway, Charlie Pryor. What was I talking about? Charlie Pryor, um... He gave me some tips on, like, getting the absolute best stream quality possible. And what it really comes down to, guys, is that... I don't think you can do... the kind of quality that I would want in a stream... Um, with a single computer, period. I just don't think it's possible. Even with my super powerful i 99 on her k I just don't think I can do it. So, in order to do that, I would need a secondary streaming computer that has, like, a Threadripper in it. Like a $600 processor. So I'd be looking at probably... I don't know, I might be able to pull off what I would need for, like, $1,000. Um, which, you know... I, I could afford it, I guess, but I kind of want to wait. These look, like, worse than usual for some reason. The ground looks, like, more crappy than usual. I don't know. Is this a different texture or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll think about that. I'm not really ready to invest that much into the streaming side of my channel because streaming just doesn't seem to be where... I thrive at. I'm not a, I'm not a great streamer, you know? I feel like I'm a much better Let's Player than I am a, a good streamer. Are these raiders? They sure are. Hold up.
You, you gonna stop sometime? Oh, the trees are glitching. Why do they always gotta fight back? No one panic. Got him. That quick scoping. Okay, I missed that one. Keep your head down. I couldn't see her though, man. Glitchy trees. Oh. Sorry. Should have just run. I took way more damage than I should have trying to line up quick scopes. Gotta practice though, man. Haven't done it for a while, you know. Was there one more back here? I can't tell with all the damn trees. Need that corpse highlighting thing that you get from uh, whatever mine is on uh, your glasses or your mask or whatever. Should be four, right? Four guys? Yeah, there's one over here. Damn. Just like backing up there, dog, huh? I think he's a bit wary of attacking after Preston messed it up. Messed him up. Where is there another one? Let's make sure that was all of them. Man, everyone's coming after me today. That's cool. All right. Uh, did I get all these guys? I don't think I did, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not gonna spend ages. There's one. There's the last one. Yeah, basically, uh, you if you want to get the best quality stream, you just you have to stream with the slow setting. Are you naked? No, you just got a t-shirt and jeans on, I guess. Okay. Let's get this place set up. So we need one of these bad boys. First, we got to dump off our stuff. That's right. Let's unpack our stuff. Actually, we don't have to now. I guess I should save those things, right? So let's just go ahead and make the stuff normally, I guess. Do this. Oh, I don't have a cargo bot for this. Okay, that's fine. Need that. We need... Uh, we don't have one of these, do we? I don't think we do. Put it up here. Oh, no, we do, we do have one of these. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, otherwise, how would we have people here? Duh. Of course we do. Right. Okay, so... Defenses. Need some automated defenses here. These are all the same... Allows you to exchange and upgrade turrets without a cost. Turrets available are based on the workshop. Okay, so basically the one, you can't make the higher level ones without a better technology level now is what he's saying with that. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I understand that change. That's fine. Makes makes sense to me. Put one of these over here because stuff always spawns over there and you need to have turrets facing that. At least, you know, one. Oh, more, more things. Okay. Well, great timing. Bloat flies, yep, bloat flies. Oh, you tailed one. Guess my good karma's paying off. Well, nice. We got more of that stuff. Which the more of that we get, the more we can upgrade our scythe, I'm making a really nice one. Okay, so we've got defense. We, we need uh, food here as well. What can we make for food? We gotta get these guys doing something, you know. Oh, carrots. We can do lots of carrots. Okay, we'll do two rows of carrots then. I don't know at all. Well, I guess we only have one guy here for now. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and do two. We'll get a second person here eventually. Plus, the more food you have, the more likely they are to, to show up, right? So you are already assigned. Cool. All right, that's cool. So we got some food here. Um, we could go ahead and do like a tato row just in case we get a third person here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be in good shape if we get people here. We can do some razor grain, too, starting pretty soon. So um, I'll do that in a bit. We got, we got plenty of food we can plant. That's cool. All right, so that guy is doing his job. That's good. Let's go south, then. Let's use a bandage, too, because, damn, took some damage. I think a Medicaid bandage is probably fine. So yeah, someday in the future, uh, if I decide I want to stream more, I, I just, like, I... Uh, spending that kind of money on something that I don't think should be my main focus on my channel. I, I don't think streaming is really my forte. 
really like I can I can record let's plays all day like as long as my voice stays decent and I, I it's not cracking too much and my voice isn't dying I can do this pretty much all day it doesn't bother me um, streaming to me is a lot more hmm what's the word it's a lot more um, tiring I guess would be the word it's a lot more draining draining's the word draining is the word um, because I am such an introvert, it doesn't bother me to sit here and talk to you guys, um, you know, recording it like this it doesn't bother me at all because this is still, this is still like me time, you know, even though I'm recording this and sharing it with you, it's still me time. Whereas doing a stream is not exactly me time. You know, I have to interact with people, and it's it's not that I don't like it, it's just that, like, as a hardcore introvert, if, if you're not an introvert, you're just not going to understand, I don't think, but as, like, a really hardcore introvert, and it's not something I choose, it's just, be, it's just how I am, but uh, being that way means that I get very drained from streaming. I have to, like, recharge. I, ne I need my recharge time, you know? There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. I should probably get it now before I forget about it. The guy is not going to be here, though. Not yet. He needs to be needs to be higher level. Although, if you go here, uh, eventually, whenever he's here, you can get a free Gatling laser over here, unless Zawano has nerfed that in some way. Yeah. That's what I mean about the range, guys. It's not very long range. I think I got something over here. Get those bugs, Preston. Really? He staggered me. Disgusting. But delicious, apparently. There's a Nuka Quantum up there, too. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get. But yeah, it's not something that you guys... Uh, if you're not an introverted person, you're just not going to understand what I'm talking about. About, about it being draining... Being around people is draining. Uh, being... Uh, it, it just it just is, guys. It's hard to explain. Let's put this away. I have to do a running jump here. Oh, crap. I messed it up. It's probably hard to do in power armor. Am I stuck? There we go. Oh, God. That was so close. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad. Helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. Got it. The railroad are abominations, Preston. They value synths over human lives. Synths are machines. I'm, I'm just role-playing as Brotherhood of Steel Nora, guys. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just weird, like, being at work all day talking to people is very draining for me. But coming home and playing this is not. Just been rough lately, because I've been, I was sick last weekend, and I slept, like, the entire weekend, didn't do anything at all, it was awful. Didn't get any videos made. That's why I was short a video the other day. I do apologize for that. I do try to make one a day. But it can be rough, you know? Did we get poisoned? No, we're good. I just like the feeling when I'm streaming of kind of, I feel like I'm trapped, you know? I feel like I, I have to, I'm like on the spot the whole time. Whereas there's no pressure whenever I'm recording. And that may just be because I'm used to recording and I'm not so used to streaming, I don't know. Nice, we got a bunch of bottle caps there, that's cool. Get the stuff, get in there Nora, you're taking rads. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. 
Come on, game. Come on. There we go. Sweet. It always seems like the uh, Fallout 76 music comes on in like the most... Like the, the type of music that comes on is very, very appropriate for the area. So whoever packed these files and like decide where they were going to play and stuff did a very good job. And this is my absolute like favorite track from 76 by the way. That part right there. It gives me chills every time. I don't know why but it does. I love it. Good memories of discovering like the story of the um the Enclave and the Brotherhood, even though I know people are gonna, like, be so pissed off when I say this, but, like, I, I know that, like, it's... 76 lore kind of spat in the face of previous Fallout lore. It really... it really did. But I still enjoyed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hate me, guys. Don't hate me. It's a, it's a bit of a sad state, honestly, that in this day and age, I have to apologize for liking something. I should just say, fuck you, I like what I like. If you don't like it, deal with it. But no, if you if you buck a trend, then you are a pariah in the community. It shouldn't be that way. Honestly, guys, it shouldn't be that way. Where, oh, where? Right, I know there's... Okay, there it is. Let's see, I know there's a grenade over here. But where's the tripwire? We should get out of here as soon as we can. I think he just, like, bit prematurely there. He bit while he was facing the wrong way. Guess mole rats are blind on the surface or something. But yeah, it shouldn't be that way. You know? People should be able to like what they like. Even if you see the, the like the flaws and things, you know, it's it's fine. Let, let people like what they like, man. Let people live their lives and do as they will. Alright, so we are going way past where we need to go. We need to go more to the west here. I wanna hit up sanctuary. Make move the marker. Come on, move it. Marker. Why can I not? There it is. Wasn't going for some reason. I think I was moving my mouse too much is the problem. We want to go to Grey Garden first, talk to Vanna White or whatever her name is. Um, uh, something White. Was she a game show? She was like an actress, right? I mean, not not really, but... Oh, okay, you're, you're going to misunderstand what I'm trying to say. This robot was modeled after, like, a famous actress, right? Correct? I'm pretty sure that's how it is. So sad I cannot take any of these. Oh, man, it makes me so sad. And those are all dead, too. Zawinul, you just, you like to nerf stuff, Bring don't you? Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. Off you go, then. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, I can get some free slaves here, huh? That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, Green and brown possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Well, what became of this Dr. Gray? What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality. 
As do the other supervisors. This took a weird turn. Well, um, yeah. It's, uh, certainly unique. Quite hard to miss. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question. What are you doing, me? Brown? Tell me, darling. What White, do this brown guy. Here? This brown guy is like trying to go between us. I think he's malfunctioning. The water is freaking awful, man. I think I grew a third arm trying to drink out of the river at Sanctuary. It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure's down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. You don't have this skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. Uh, as long as you become my slaves, sure. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can... Come up with something for you. Yes, lifelong slavery. That sounds like a fair trade for fixing your water. So I think we'll do that. Uh, well, I mean, there's no rush, I guess, on doing uh, Preston's quest. We can do this first, I suppose. It doesn't really matter, does it? Should be fine. I think Preston was happy with that, though. Oh, yeah, and there's some power armor up here. Uh, we'll do that on our way into Cambridge. We'll go and get that power armor. Although there might be... Well, it's going to be rusted and a piece of crap. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I was going to say there might be a T-45 helmet, but uh, it's not a big deal. We'll get it later. They got a T-45 leg rusted. Wonder when you start seeing T-51. I bet I'll end up getting T-60 from the Brotherhood before I find any T-51. Interestingly, the T-51 in 76, which is all the power armor is kind of balanced in 76. It's just based on levels. Like the level 50 stuff is all kind of balanced the same. But uh, the T-51 stuff has by far the best physical resistance, which I guess kind of makes sense. It was kind of the old school military armor, so it would have had better physical resistance than anything else. Whereas the, um, the X-01 is very high in energy and um, energy and uh, uh, radiation resist. Which I think the XO one's the best overall because radiation resist is kind of hard to come by in 76. But overall it is just kind of flavor. Hope I don't piss you guys off too much by talking about 76. I, it's something to talk about that I enjoy. And um, it's Fallout related. So, you know, I don't feel too horrible talking about it, but I know a lot of you don't enjoy the game. That's it. And uh, some outright hate it. Out of principle. Oh, uh, Exodus will be out probably by the time this video is out as well. Since at the very earliest this video will be released tomorrow, and that will be Friday, because I'm filming on Thursday. So... That should be interesting. I know a lot of you guys are upset at the uh, whole Steam Store, Epic Store debacle thing. Uh, I'm sure you're all aware of it by now. It seems like everyone in gaming knows, like, all these stories. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Some of them seem to get blown a bit more out of proportion than they need to be, in my opinion. But I will be picking it up, for sure. Um, I'm excited because... I can try out ray tracing for the first time, although, in all honesty, the ray tracing on Exodus did not look particularly impressive to me. It didn't look like it was that much of a difference, and it does come at a pretty heavy frame rate loss, so 
as long as I can still get 60 FPS still consistently, I'm, I'm okay with it. At like max settings, obviously. But yeah, I want to make sure I can at least get that. But yeah, Exodus is going to be coming out. I'm, I'm sorry that I never got to finish one or two. I'll probably watch a summary video going over the story of one and two so I know what's going on in, in the, the next one. Which kind of sucks because it means I'll have spoilers for one and two. But I'll probably still play those again anyway. I'm, I'm sure at some point I'll have nothing else to play and I'll continue those. I might still continue one while I'm doing uh, three. I don't know. We'll see. I guess it's not Met it's not Metro 3, it's Metro Exodus. They're not numbered. Although they are like a linear story. You know, like it's it, the story does follow through the next, and it's all from the perspective of, of Artyom, the protagonist from all three. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Because, you know, it's a next gen game with extremely good graphics. The Metro series has always been well known for its graphics. Not sure why I'm going this way. We're supposed to go on this way. Always been known for its graphics and uh, this will be a brand new game in that series. It'll be top of the line for graphics so I'm excited to see what that's like. See what the story is about. It seems like it's going to be a little bit more open world which the first two were very linear and I am not as big of a fan of linear games. I really enjoy open world exploration just walking around and seeing a site and stumbling upon little stories and stuff I like a game to be big enough that um, you can miss like half of it on your first playthrough it took me many playthroughs to see everything yes. in Fallout I still have probably not seen quite everything that's a Minuteman sign right there Bunch of frag grenades. Kind of surprised that Preston doesn't say anything about this. About this guy, you know? Since there's a Minuteman sign in here. Hey. What is it? Hi. Need something, General? Anything you want to talk about? Never a dull moment. That, that didn't make any sense at all, Preston. Oh. Nothing. All right. That that did not make sense conversationally, Preston. The LOD does look kind of shitty. I think maybe I messed up my loader a little bit after I ins installed the new version. <laughs> Another one for Nora. Minutemen didn't do shit. All right, we're coming up on these guys. Guess I should get the sniper rifle out here and do some sniping. Leave him go this far. You've got to have something there you don't really need. One down. Two down. Hold up. Did that not kill him? You're here. You're here. Stop hiding. Okay, it's power armor time. Pretty sure Preston just shot my power armor, but you know. Yeah. That's it. Someone's got a minigun. A warlord, huh? Thanks for running directly in my way, Preston. It's always appreciated. Steady. Good shoot. I think 
I got something over here. Found you. I think your power armor still takes damage whenever you block now, which really kind of sucks, actually. It makes me want to do melee a lot less. Let's make sure we get this guy's minigun up here. Okay, I think that's all. Should be one guy here. Should be two of them. Oh yeah, it's the Suicider. That's cool. Did we get this guy? Yep, we did. Oh, we're taking rads in the water. Not good. I should save. I haven't saved in forever. Don't know how stable 1.7.6 is yet. We're gonna do this stuff afterwards. You can't properly disarm stuff uh, down here until you've actually cleared the place out. The water covering up the trap over there, you can't actually disarm the trap, I don't think, until you clear it out. I think one of the guys fell down into here, too. We'll have to get him afterwards when we come out. Some good stuff, though. We'll get the armor for strong later on. I don't know if I'll actually do the whole relationship maxing out thing with all these guys. Like, Preston's is really good. It's like you do 20% more damage. I think maybe it's 10%. Might be nerfed a little bit in Horizon, but you do a bunch more damage. What the hell's going on over here? Someone's down there. It's banging around. But yeah, you get 20% more damage every time you're outnumbered. So if you're solo, that'd be more than one person that you're fighting, which is just about always. It might be nerfed slightly. And yeah, I know I can get a mod from the radio off. I just, for whatever reason, I don't have it active. I think I even have it. Not sure why it's not active right now. Maybe it is active and it's just broken. I don't know. Need to get it turned back on, though. It's a shame the way the world works, but that's, you know, it is what it is. Greedy assholes in the record companies holding all the power. Just how it is. Oh, there's a guy's head. All right. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like, the, the perks are really nice. They're really, really worth it. But they're also, like, you have to carry around a, a companion for so long to get them. It's really annoying. And very difficult to get them all maxed out, too. A lot of work. And plus, I hate the fact that you have to... You have to cater your answers to your companions. You know? Like, you have to say what they want you to say. It, it kind of... It kind of kills any role-playing you can do. Because you're trying to min-max your character by making sure you max out your progression on as many companions as fast as you can. And so... You're worried more about that than you are about actually being a role player. Okay, Western Wire Treatment. Let's get this done. Let's get through this. I know we're getting a bit on in the time here. And if I'm not going to cut anything, then we're going to be going on like easily an hour and 15 minutes or so. So we got to press that E button. You know what? In fact, um, let me wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let me call this bad boy, and let's get him going on, like, automatically picking up stuff it's for us. Weirdly peaceful. Oh god, just shut up, Preston. In here. I shouldn't be so hard on that boy, but he's a dumb dumb. Some of these weapons- oh wow. That's, for being degraded, that's extremely good damage. It's pretty
pretty awesome, actually. Have to make sure we scan some of these things and take a look at them before, you know, we get rid of them. The pipe mace and the, um, I think it's called the handmade mace or the something homemade mace or something, something like that. It does extremely good damage. That might be one of the best in the game. I'm not sure if the scythe does quite as much as that. Did not mean to send you over, Scythe. I'm sorry. Uh, where did I put it? So yeah, uh, it, it's very good. Very, very good. I don't often talk when I'm doing this stuff, by the way, because I have to think quite a bit about what I'm doing. It's difficult. I don't want to screw up. We're not going to use that. It's a lot of weight. Okay, it's fine. And also, we want to... Do area scavenging, right? So it's on. Now, we may have to turn this off whenever we go to a settlement because, yeah, it's going to have issues. But it should pick up stuff for us automatically here in a second. Not from containers, but like... You know, this stuff laying around, it should pick that stuff up for us. No exit. So I, th I think it's doing some of the stuff already, actually. Maybe. Did not mean to do that. It's great that Zalwin will take feedback, though, like that. I mean, I, I, I never... Yeah, there we go. It's, it's picking up stuff now. I never expected him to actually implement some kind of auto-loot ability like that, but it is really tedious. Like, I've already had suggestions for turning on auto-loot, like the actual auto-loot. Preston, this is not a time to be sitting around taking a drink out of a dirty cup. Do you know where that water's been, man? It's disgusting, dude. Yeah, it does help out a little bit. It's not, you know, full-fledged auto-loot where it picks up everything for you, but... It's helpful. Which the auto loot uh, mod has been fixed. So it, the newest version has no issues at all. It should never crash for you ever. And, you know, if you want to use it, uh, don't let anyone make you feel bad. Looting can be a real pain in the ass in Horizon because you got to pick up everything. Everything has a use, but that means you have to pick it all up, too. Which means it's a pain in the butt. Got it. Often I'll find that the uh, auto loot in Horizon picks up stuff I was, like, just very, very close to picking up myself. So it's like, oh, well, thanks there, bot, I guess. I guess, you know, concerning auto loot, I find auto loot to be a lot less... Um, if we're comparing, like, you know, the base game to Horizon, I find auto loot to be a lot less cheaty than cargo bots are. I think cargo bots are a far bigger advantage than auto loot is. Yes. Which is why I don't think you should feel bad if you use it. It's not really a big deal. Okay, let's get back inside get for this place but you know don't let anyone tell you how to play your game play it how you want man I have to adhere to certain standards because people have expectations for me and you know there's I mean it is you know you can go kind of down a dark path where you you just make everything way too easy for yourself and then that's no fun you can break the game for yourself pretty easily if you install too many mods that change balance too much. It's gonna be hard to sneak up on anything in here. Lower level. You know, like for instance, if you want if you really want to have a certain build be like more viable, I don't feel that's too bad. God damn it, Preston. Keep your head down. Grab anything useful. Got it. Yeah, go over there. Draw its fire. Good job. God. You have stand in Freedom's always worth fighting for. Uh, don't tell this, this guy, but he's actually my slave. <laughs> I, 
I hope you guys don't take that as like a black thing either. Like it's not because Preston's black that I'm making him a slave. It's just in general. Nora, Nora hates everyone equally and just wants to enslave everyone. Doesn't matter what color their skin is, what kind of religion they're after, whatever. She's not racist, okay? This is not a race thing. But yeah, I find it comical that Preston talks about how freedom's worth fighting for whenever all the settlers are just my slaves. You're just trading one dictator for another, Preston. Hope you know that. I wonder, do we get a uh, fusion core in here? I don't think we do. A lot of shots, man. I think I got something in here. That's all I need, man. People calling me a racist. Perfect. I actually, like, I was just being, like, stupid and role playing earlier, like, in the last episode when I was talking to Preston. And I actually said, like, something along those lines, like, whatever, Preston, you're just my slave. But then I realized, yeah, Preston's black. That's, like, actually really, really insulting to black people. So I cut it out. These are the kind of things you have to think about, you know? Because I'm not thinking about the fact that Preston's black. I'm just thinking about the fact that he's annoying as hell. And I want to degrade him as much as possible, because that's what this Nora does. That's but, nice energy weapons. But, you know, some people are going to make it a, a racist thing, even though it's not. I'm going to end up being the next um, Michael Felton, or whatever his name is, Kramer. Although what he said actually was really racist, so, I mean, you know. We could use a light here. My light's already on, you idiot. There's a light right there. I've got a light on my headlamp. You're a moron, Preston. God. That's why I don't take you anywhere. Because you're so stupid. You make the dumbest comments about everything. I can't stand it. Could use a light here. It's on, you idiot. Here. You want a light? Here. Take all this stuff, because you're not going to use it. Put on this damn helmet here. There. There you go, Preston. Stark, turn your light on. Oh, you're not going to, because you're a... M oh, you did. Good job. There you go, Preston. Now you got a light. Hope you're happy. Don't say I never did anything for you. But yeah, what... What Michael Felton said was act it is his name, right? I'm probably saying the wrong name and like a moron. What he said was actually very, very racist, though. Rem remember the the music video someone made out of what he said? That was hilarious. This light does not penetrate very far, does it? I'll have them both, Preston, because I know you're worthless and incompetent and wouldn't be able to take one anyway. The internet's just such a wonderful place. And the great thing is, nothing ever dies in the internet. This must have supplied a lot of you can make a fool out of yourself, and you will make a fool out of yourself forever. No one will ever let you forget. There's actually, I believe, in the EU, something about adding like a, um, like a, a right to be forgotten. Like after 10 years or so, websites need to like ease up on the whole persecuting a person for something they did in the past. Because, you know, I mean, people are going to change and become better people, you hope, over time. One would hope anyway, right? But the internet, man, the internet never lets you forget. Sweet. Like, okay, 
Mike Tyson's a good example, right? I mean, yeah, the dude kind of bit a guy's ear off, you know? Like, that's, that's pretty fucked up. That's pretty messed up right there. Poor, poor Evander Holyfield. It is who it was, right? Evander Holyfield? Yeah, guy's, guy's ear bitten off by Mike Tyson. But now, like, you know, Mike Tyson's been in some movies and stuff, and it's, it's, it's comical because he has this really heavy lisp, but, like, he owns it, you know? Like, he's, he's this badass who also bit someone's ear off in a boxing match, but he's got this really comical lisp. It's just great. I don't know why, but I just, I, I love it when he's in movies. I, I love seeing him in movies. So, you know, people can come back. People can change. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. Go shoot the, the, the Meyer Lurk. Yeah, get that Meyer Lurk. Or Preston, I don't care. Did it kill the Meyer Lurk? I think it did. That's one, I get this one bad thing about, the, I mean, it's, it's a great thing about the internet is that no one ever forgets anything, but it's also a very bad thing because you, you don't get a chance to change, you know? Like, you, I don't know, it, it's, there are some sins that, like, the internet will never forgive. And you're, you're always going to be a pariah no matter what. Aim for the I think I got some, I knew it. He just fell off. Why didn't you stagger? There we go. Short control burst. Then again, I think that's all of you know, maybe I shouldn't be sympathetic at all. Because I would never say what Kramer said. I'm just going to call him Kramer because that, that way I know for sure I'm getting the name right. I would never have said what Kramer said. Certainly, like, like not even to a friend, joking. Certainly not to a crowd of people. My God, no, never. Never, ever, ever would I say that. So, maybe I shouldn't have any sympathy because that's, that's really dumb. He was obviously very frustrated with that crowd, though, with all the hecklers. Which, I, I get that to a degree, you know? Come on, turret. I get that to a degree because I have faced kind of the same things, you know? Like, people not heckling me, per se, but, you know, when you're a YouTuber... You face a lot of criticism all the time, from like everyone. Every goddamn armchair critic wants to criticize you. It's often people that have no idea the kind of, the kind of work you put into it, and how little gain you get out of it, you know? So I understand to a degree his frustration. And I think that he was just so pissed off. Like, you ever just been, have you ever just been so pissed off at someone that even though you might not mean what you're saying, you just want to say the thing that you think will hurt them the most. The thing that's like the most shocking, the most hurtful, the worst thing you could possibly say. I think we've all been in that situation. And unfortunately, ah. sure for Kramer, Kramer it was a black guy, and he went all racist on him. And that's like, you know, like the biggest sin you can commit. Holy shit, Preston. This is amazing. St oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking great. Guys, I gotta, I gotta get a, uh, I gotta get some video of this.
this is amazing. This is why you bring companions right here. He's just, he's, he keeps going, man, he keeps going. He's like, he's like one of those, those tight, like when they have the cars on the testing track things, you know, like that they, they like run them in place, you know, and they've got the, the two like, uh, round parts that the wheel sits in so that the wheel can just spin in place on its own. That's what he's in right now. He's just, he's one of those cars. Preston's turned into a car. I think he's going faster, guys. Is he going faster over time? Are his legs speeding up? It's like he's trying harder and harder to get out of there, but he just can't do it. You can do it, Preston. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, Preston. You can do it. You got this. You got this. Do it for the minute, men. Jump out of there. Okay, I think he's he's actually good and stuck, guys. Preston. I thought maybe if I kneecapped him, he'd stop, but he, he just keeps going. Hey. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> what the what hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Preston? That's the question, isn't it? Oh my god. Never change, Fallout 4. Never change. You're beautiful, game. You're beautiful. Come on, Meyer Lurk. Not even gonna aim for their face anymore, man. It's just so much easier to shoot them, like, in their arms and legs. Okay, let's get this done. Get the rads part of this over. I really, really wish you could jump in the window over here. Like, it really would make a lot more sense. But no, you gotta run down through here, walk through the rads, and take some rads every single time. I just think that's bullshit. Like, you should be able to jump in the window. And avoid the rads. That would be a lot more immersive to me. You know, the other thing, nice thing about power armor is that you can't accidentally drink water. It happens all the time when I'm trying to pick up these eggs. I, I drink water in accident. Because a lot of times the water collides with the eggs. Like, and it's very difficult to actually get the, the egg as opposed to the water. Yeah, I don't know. What 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 do you guys think? Should Kramer be forgiven? I mean, come on. He gave us a Junior Mint. All those great Seinfeld episodes. I really never would have heard of the guy at all, I don't think, except for Kramer, though, to be honest. So, or, you know, his character in Seinfeld. Hey, we got a T-45 helmet. Did we get a T-45? I think I did. Let's see. Oh, we're on aid. I'm a derp. Yes, we got a T-45 helmet. Hell yes. Although it sucks that we already made this one, like, improved, I think. Yeah, we wasted those materials. Never getting those materials back. Oh, well. I'm still happy we got T-45. We got a full matching set. Yeah, dude, sound off in the comments below. As, like, the douchey asshole YouTubers would say. I'm, I'm glad you have a, a helmet now, Preston. You can see where you're going. Next, you're going to be complaining about the dust. I'll have to give you a, a freaking gas mask. Going up. Surface. Anytime a YouTuber starts off their video by saying, Hey, yo, it's your boy. Or it's your girl. I immediately turn it off. Like, God... So, so goddamn cringe. Could you be any more unoriginal and cringe than that? I don't think it's possible.
Maybe I'm being too harsh, I don't know. Or the people that put on like that super, super hyper fake happiness at the start of their video. But people eat it up, man. I swear to God they do, especially kids. Like, if you're not genuinely happy to be doing it, then stop doing it. I guess they can't, though. You know, it is their career, after all. Let's not trip the missile launcher. I wonder if this will actually give us a missile launcher or not. It does. See, it never did before. It used to never give you a missile launcher. Now you actually get one, and it's ruined, which is fine. But we actually get one so we can scan it, and we can make our own. That's cool. Because missile la launchers are really, really hard to come by in Horizon. Like, you just don't see them. Very, very rare. So there should be a dead mutant around here somewhere that we shot and he fell off, I think. Is that a snow texture? That, that kind of looks like a snow texture to me. What the hell is up with that? Or maybe it's a no, it's not a sandbag texture. No, I don't know. It's a snow texture. It's weird. Anyway, guys, this is done. Um, I think we will end the episode here. So next time we'll go and talk to the robots and take over Grey Garden. More robots to add to our slave army. And then we'll be going over and talking to um, Oberlin Station down here and doing whatever they require us to do, which is usually to go over and talk to... Or not talk to... Kill raiders over at... Um, the uh, I forget what it's called. The something back alley. No, I, I forget what it's called, guys. Anyway, we're gonna go over there. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.